हेलो एवरी वन टुडे लेट एस टॉक अबाउट न्यूटन स्थार लॉ ऑफ मोशन एज आई हैव सेड यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज दैट वॉट इज न्यूटन स्थार लॉ ऑफ मोशन एंड वी हैव रेड वन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो दैट इज रिकॉयल ऑफ द गन न्यूटन स्थार लॉ ऑफ मोशन स्टेट्स दैट फॉर एवरी एक्शन देर इज एन इक्वल एंड ऑपोजिट रिएक्शन नाउ इन टूडेज क्लास we are going to learn about one more important application of newton's third law of motion that is motion of a boat as we have read in the previous class about the recoil of the gun let me once again repeat it that when you fire a bullet the bullet goes in the forward direction and the gun gives the reaction in the opposite direction that is in the backward direction which is known as the recoil of the gun we have solved problems for the recoil of the gun also but today let us read one more application of the newton's third law of motion which is the motion of the boat try to assume that uh, there is a person or a uh, boy who is uh, actually riding a boat on a river try to assume it so we can see that when he tries to ride a boat he tries to push us the water back with the help of the sticks he tries to push us the water in backward direction with the help of the sticks which in turn sets the boat in motion so this is in compliance with newton's third law of motion that when actually an action is given with the help of the sticks by the boat boy on the water there is a reaction given by the water to move the boat in forward direction so this is in compliance with newton's third law of motion there is one more possibility also that if the boat is at rest and the boat boy is uh, running on that particular boat and he tries to dive off into the water then also the boat will move in backward direction so these are the two scenarios which we are talking about in this particular motion of the boat the second scenario what i'm saying is if the boat is at the at rest on the river and if the boy uh, tries to run on it and uh, he dives on the water ultimately the feet of the boy will will uh, push the boat in backward direction and the boat will move in backward direction now here the movement of the boat may easily found out by the application of newton's third law of motion now let us equate like in the similar uh, similar like in the recoil of the gun as we have studied that law of conservation of momentum so let us here try to equate the momentum of the boat so here there are two things in the motion of the boat one is the boat and the other one is the boy so let us try to find out the momentum of the boat and the momentum of the boy so now let us consider a boat on which a boy runs and he dives off into the water so let us assume 
that uh, there is a boat on which uh, there is a boy who is actually uh, trying to run in this uh, direction and after that he drives into the water he dives into the water so this is the situation which we are going to study now there is a boat on the water and there is a boy who is standing in the boat he is trying to run on the boat and he will dive here into the water now let us consider capital m as the mass of the boat and capital v as the velocity of the boat and the small m as the mass of the boat boy and small v as the velocity of the boat boy so the mass of the boy is small m and the velocity with which he is running it is small v and the mass of the boat is capital M and the velocity of the boat is capital V. So, these are the things which we have considered. Now, what is the momentum of the boat? Let us find out. So, momentum of the boat after the boy jumps that is capital M into V and the momentum of the boat boy will be small m into small v. So, let us take this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. As you all know that uh, momentum is the product of mass into acceleration uh, and we are uh, finding out the momentum of the boat and the momentum of the boat boy. So, here uh, we will get an equation that is uh, capital MV is equal to small m a, which is also known as law of conservation of momentum. So, which we got the same equation in the recoil of gun also. So, from this equation uh, we come to know that the momentum of the boat after the boy jumps is equal to the momentum of the boat boy. So, this equation is used to solve the problem. Now after getting the equation, so what we got the equation from the previous uh, slide that is capital MV is equal to small mv. So now let us try to solve a problem. Two men standing on a floating boat run in 
succession along its length with a speed of 4.2 meter per second relative to the boat and dive off from the end the weight of each man is given as 80 kg the weight of each man is given as 80 kg and the weight of the boat is given as 400 kg the question is if the boat was initially at rest find the final velocity of the boat so the question is if the boat is initially at rest that means initial velocity is zero then let uh, we have to find out what is the final velocity of the boat so we have to neglect the water friction this is as per the question now let us try to solve this problem so let me say the best way to solve any uh, problem of a particular subject is you try to involve yourself in the problem then the problem becomes a little bit easier so let us see here there are totally two men they are standing on a floating boat they are running in succession succession means one after the another along its length with a speed of 4.2 meter per second relative to the boat and they dive off from the end the weight of each man is given as 80 kg and the weight of the boat is 400 kg so each man is weighing 80 kg so the question is if the boat is was initially at rest find the final velocity of the boat so here we are neglecting the water friction so let us see what is the given data the given data is that is small v which is 4.2 meter per second okay what is the 4.2 meter per second that is uh, here we are talking about the speed of the boat and uh, the weight of each man weight of each man that is 80 kg weight what is uh, there may be a doubt that what is 80 kg weight so this i am writing in gravitational units or as given in the question that mass is 80 kg which is in absolute units
similarly the weight of the boat that is 400 kg weight similarly in uh, gravitational units or that is a capital M which you are considering it as the weight of the boat as given in the question if you consider that is 400 kg if you consider that is in absolute units ok so this is the given data now let us move forward to solve the problem so let us consider as a capital V this is capital V as the velocity of the boat after the second man dives that is jumps of the boat again I am saying here the, the velocity small v is 4.2 meter per second weight of uh, each man there are two men on the boat that is 80 kgs which is given in absolute unit we have converted into gravitational unit that is 80 kg weight then uh, we have considered as capital V as the velocity of the boat that means after the second man dives of the boat so here for solving the problem let us try to analyze the problem first here when the first man dives of the boat okay so what I am saying is there is a boat okay there are two persons they will run assume that they are running in this direction and one after the another they will jump so the mass of uh, each man is 80 kg and the velocity of this uh, here is given as 4.2 meter per second that means these two persons velocity is 4.2 meter per second so you have to find out what is the velocity of this boat okay so this is only an indication there is capital V so here when this first man jumps so consider him as the first man and him as the second man he is running in this direction when this first man he dies of the boat okay after this man he jumps from the boat he will give some momentum to the boat he will give some momentum as he is jumping in this direction so the momentum will be given by his feet and the momentum will be in backward direction ok so as well as for the second man who is still standing on the boat ok so what I am trying to say is when this first person is will jump into the water clear so this particular person who jumps into the water he will give the momentum to this particular person as well as the boat clear then when the second person jumps up the boat he will also give some momentum to this boat so therefore we are trying to find out the total momentum gained by the boat is equal to the momentum given by the first person plus the momentum given by the second man so what I am trying to say is here this person he is trying to run in this direction and he will dive into the boat and after 
same day after after this person jumps clear this person he gives momentum to the boat as well as to the second person who is still standing on the boat okay so that is one momentum and again this per second person when he jumps into the water he is also giving some momentum to the boat so the total momentum gained by the boat by these two persons will be equal to the momentum given by the first person plus momentum given by the second person this is the concept how we solve the problem okay so now let us solve so the final momentum of the boat okay so the final momentum of the boat is uh, how much that is 400 into v kg meter per second so what is this 400 that is the weight of the boat so you know that momentum is equal to mass into velocity 400 is the mass of this uh, boat and v we have considered as the velocity of the boat after the second man jumps that means before that first man has jumped okay so the final momentum is 400 into v kg per kg meter per second okay now this is one aspect now let us find out the momentum given by the first person and the momentum given by the second person to the boat so the momentum given by the first person to the boat so what is the momentum given by the first person to the boat so the momentum given by the first person to the boat will be so the weight uh, weight of the first person that is uh, 80 if you are taking in gravitational unit it is 80 kg weight and the velocity of with which the person is running that is 4.2 meter per second so mass into velocity so 80 into 4.2 uh, it comes around please uh, check it that is kg meter per second so please check it in your calculators so this is the momentum given by the first person similarly let us calculate the momentum given by the second person to the boat so the momentum given by the second person to the boat is also same that is 18 into 4.2 which is coming around 336 kg per meter second so why i have written this in this way is you can understand you see as i have already spoken we will try to solve this problem by using law of conservation of momentum that is uh, the total momentum of the boat is equal to total momentum given by the two persons on the boat clear so we know that the final momentum of the boat is equal to momentum given by the boat okay so so you can see here i have written already this particular statement as we have discussed while explaining how to solve the problem that the final momentum of the boat is equal to momentum given by the first person plus momentum given by the second person so this is uh, in compliance or in relation to the law of conservation of momentum that is the final momentum of the boat which is given as we have found out as uh, coming around 400 into v and this is the momentum given by the first person to the boat and this is the momentum given by the second person to the boat these two we are going to equate it so 
So we get around that is a 400 V this final momentum of the boat is equal to 336 plus 336 okay that is momentum given by the first man and the momentum given by the second man or person so we get uh, 400 V is equal to 672 and uh, V is equal to so after calculating it comes around 1.68 meter per second so this is how we solve the motion of the boat problem okay and we have found out what is the velocity of the boat after the two persons are jumping that means here the first man jumps then after that the second man jumps with a velocity of 4.2 meter per second and uh, we have calculated the momentum of the first person and second person then the final momentum of the boat and this momentum uh, for the boat has been created by these two persons so using law of conservation of momentum the final momentum of the boat is equal to momentum given by first person plus second person so this is how we have solved the problem and we got the answer that is velocity of the boat after the second man jumps off the boat is 1.68 meter per second so i hope you have understood the concept of this uh, Newton's uh, third law of uh, motion and uh, the application of it uh, and uh, we have solved one problem also. Okay, thank you. Let us, we will meet in the next class. Thank you.